Hello friends, welcome to Sanford, Florida. I'm here at the airport in Sanford to pick up my friend Lish. You might remember her from other popular videos such as the American Showman's Museum, Andre's World. Well, today we're gonna go on a little adventure here and I first stop I was here in the uh, cell phone lot and I noticed this very cool plane. So I learned a couple of things by reading the placard out here. It turns out that Sanford was the home of an Air Force base, and during the World Wars, if you were a pilot, you likely were trained here at this base. It's got a lot of history here in this town. A lot of a lot of placards around here. Let's go explore some. Each bench is dedicated to someone. Oh. In 1947, the New York Giants built eight baseball fields out here for their spring training. I don't think that that exists anymore. I don't see any fields around, but there's a lot of room you can see here behind me. This is, this is very cool. Fifty-three pilots lost their lives in training on these fields, defending that flag right there, or in training to defend that flag. The motivation to keep this country a safe place and best place on the planet to live. Welcome. Hi. Thanks for picking me up. Yep. Welcome to downtown Sanford. Doesn't appear that much is going on. All the shops are closed except for this one little breakfast joint that we're going to go get some decaf coffee and some food at. What do you think of Sanford so far? It's adorable. It's very quaint. I don't think anything's open. So this on the sidewalk looks like there might be something open back here. Never hung out in Sanford much in this part of town. I've, I've only been to the Wops and Hops Brewery and the Sanford Brewery and it's just down the way a little bit but I wasn't, ooh, this is a cool place. Check this out. Hollerbach. <laughs> <laughs> it's all German stuff. Nobody here. <laughs> Just us. Correction, there's that guy and this dog. <laughs> but there's nobody else in Sanford. <laughs> A true German deli. Well, we could go it's closed. In. I'm able to get this really cool shot of the theater because I'm standing in the middle of the roadway that nobody is driving on today. Nothing's going on. It appears the Poke Bowl place is open. Possibly. Let's go. Good. Wow. Open. I saw ice cream on the sign out front, so I made my way to it. Yeah. Let's see if there's a the pistachio. Yes, there is. Pistachio. A new, new flavor. Uh, Sounds good. <laughs> the new flavor is cookies, cookie, milk and cookies. Milk and cookies. Yeah, it's Got that and pistachio. Vanilla with pieces of chocolate chip cookies, not cookie dough. This stuff is good. 
Very good ice cream. Oh yeah. Bluebell? Bluebell. Well, nothing was going on in Sanford, so we bounced out of there and we headed over to a place called Orange County Brewers using the Hops Passport. Let's go in and check this place out. How's that you? Ready? Yep. Thanks, dude. Trying the Schwartz beer. Called Black Hops Town is their name for it, but I like a good sports beer. So, I'll take it. All right. Next place. Where are we going? We're going to go to Hourglass. Sounds good. Cool. Let's do it. Hourglass Parade is pretty cool. They got all these pinball machines and they have this taco joint attached to their business. Just like the last place, the Orange County Brewers, very hot on the tacos. Popular around this part of the country. I'm not really sure why. I'm not really a taco guy. Uh, you guys probably know I love the VIP. They're known as a Mexican place, a taco place. I just don't like tacos. I'd rather have the drive. Hourglass has got this cool vending machine. Check it out. It's like a mystery box. Let's just buy something. What is it? It's the Extreme Food Challenge. Check out some of these other cool things in here. Bags of weird things and <laughs> fortunes and a vintage McDonald's toy. Candy cigarettes. Trading cards, pins, all kinds of cool things. How much does it cost for one of those bags? like five bucks. No, five bucks. Yeah. No, this one's ten. This one's Ooh, ten. Ten dollars. Uh, what do we have here? Oh. Uh, yeah. oh, little... Turning tools. This is a kite man setup. Oh, oh yeah. And today is being delivered uh, another jet ski oh. and a uh, dock. I had to actually read the manual. All right. Four of those. I can just use it for now. You know what I mean? If you want to sell it, we're going to sell it. That's a sweat team. Friends, welcome to the kite house. We finished up our day hanging out and we wanted to show you what was in the mystery bag. It's the extreme food challenge bag. We did try some of these things. Did you have a favorite? I like the bugs. Yeah, silkworm, uh, little fried silkworms. Uh, we've got some other weird stuff here. Um, whole chili peppers, that was pretty hot. I didn't try this. I love gummy bears, but we didn't open a ghost gummy bear package. It looks like they're, feels like they're melted together, isn't it? Yeah. We'll try that some other time. <laughs> Here's the remnants of a couple packages we tried at the brewery. They tasted like little tiny chickens. They were like squid or I don't know what they were. They smelled like tuna. Yeah, everything was in some foreign language, so there's no explanation. And uh, there's a little candy here. That, here, you want to oh, try it? We forgot like this thing. Oh yeah, there's the remnants of something else weird. Let me show you up close what this stuff is. Here's the bag it came in. This was some really nasty candy-like thing and let me those peppers. Chili peppers. These were the weird ones, the silkworms. But honestly, they were the less offensive. Like they tasted. Yeah, they didn't good taste bad. too bad. 
Friends, thanks for watching today. We hope to show you around with old Sanford and some other things, but no, today turned out okay anyway. It was great. Yeah. Loved it. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Looks weird. Try it. What is it? It's like if milk mixed with onions. Oh.